This is my studio slash bedroom. Half of it is bed and the other half, most of it anyway, is a studio space. I'm going to be doing a, a, a makeover. Wow. But first I wanted to talk to you, talk you through what I'm going to do. My dog literally is quiet and peaceful until I press record and then she's like, hey, how about I do everything to make noise? The focus of this is going to be to make everything more accessible. Do you want to leave? You can go out, but the door's shutting behind you. So there's a couple of things wrong with my current situation. There, uh, first of all, if I don't see it, I don't use it. The other problem is that I currently have two desks. Now, the reason I have two desks is because the second one is actually a foldable situation. That also kind of uh, negates the whole accessibility situation type vibe so the other problem is that i have a second desk it folds down initially was supposed to be the idea however when it's folded down i don't use it originally i was going to have like an editing computer station and then a painting messy station however i use my ipad or my laptop for references all the time or just want to watch youtube videos it's kind of annoying to have completely separate desks including the fact that I have a chair that sits still rather than it's not it's not like a wheelie chair. I can't have wheelie chairs because they make me mad dizzy. To combine these desks, uh, I've tried that before. I've tried just moving them together. It didn't work. They're different heights, they're different makes, and also the foldable one is foldable. Another problem I have is that everything is a bit disjointed. I have a cubby with some sketchbooks and a lot of my camera gear and hard drives, a drawer over here with stickers and postcards, and I just need everything to be a lot more easy to get to. A slightly relevant point, some of you may not know, um, I do have a disease, a illness, a, a disgusting, um, I have a lot of chronic pain and chronic fatigue. Making everything as easy as possible is very important. So my solution for this whole thing is to add some shelves, add a corner desk and by corner desk I mean just add a desk and make it into a corner desk because corner desks are expensive. Do a little shimmy shimmy, shimmy shimmy ah, and then hopefully it will just work better. That was a long old explanation about nothing.
first started playing drums, so if you hear that in the background, um, if I waited for him to stop, we would be here all day. I came to a bit of a standstill with the shelf because I was trying to organise everything in a very specific way um, and then realised that I needed more storage boxes and contraptions. I started putting them on the shelf and then realised that I needed to show you what I got. So the first thing, obviously, I haven't finished putting things in them. This one is empty. Uh, I picked up these. These, these are like mad expensive on Amazon and stuff, but I found these for three pound each, um, and it has a little drawer. I also got this little basket. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to stay in there, but I needed something. I just need things, and then I also needed a box that was solid, so that um, you couldn't see into it. And this just has a bunch of stationery, blue tack, pins, all that good stuff. So my main goal for this was to just make my studio a lot more uh, easily accessible, easy to use and to function as literally half studio, half bedroom. I did make a mistake as I pointed out but I didn't go into detail at the time. Basically, let me show you this. So as you can see I have this corner right here and originally I was going to try and puzzle together a corner desk. It didn't really go to plan because I was so focused on making sure that the desk would fit here next to the radiator and the wall that I didn't take into consideration how much this the depth of this desk would affect this desk. So it ended up just being a, a, a weird mess of desks rather than a corner desk. And now instead we have two desks. <laughs> Although at first that kind of threw a spanner in the work, spanner, 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 it messed me up a bit. Originally, the reason I wanted to have the corner desk was to be able to be sitting somewhere, look at a reference and have an editing station and literally just turn and have a little painting set up. This requires more movement, but not too much. At the end of the day, the desks are next to each other. If it does get really annoying or too difficult, I'm just gonna get either a second chair painting and make sure it's like good for posture and such. Get a wheelie chair, replace that one. But I really like the chair that I already have. I'm quite attached to it, so that's why I haven't. So I'm gonna show you a mini tour of everything in, in depth, but also quick. So as you've seen many times before, this is the whole setup. It takes up literally half of my room uh, with a great big window in the middle, which is nice for natural light. It's currently raining. So this is the messy desk, painting desk type situation. Paintbrushes and pencils easily accessible along with this trolley right next to it, which is all paint. This is my Hemi gouache. Um, then I have some Caran Dash wax crayons and oil pastels, which I have recently started using on top of paintings. And here we have the spray bottle and some acrylic paint pens um, and as well as some acrylic paint. And then some watercolors gouache paints in a tube, uh, spray paints, and a little basket of spare things. The second desk actually came with a little hook, which I found very helpful. And when we come over to this desk, which is editing station, uh, you know, like daily sketchbooky things. And on here, I like to keep my pencil case and sketchbook that I'm currently working in. I also have a bunch of art on the walls. Um, and this is a mic for when I do voiceover things. And we come over here, this is my poppy shrine. She is my favourite person. She's currently being adorable. Then we have this. This is actually for my hamster. So over here, <laughs> on the messy side that I wasn't going to show you. Oh, he's up. Hello, Frankie. Oh, bye then. It's okay. Hey, how are you doing? What are you doing up so early? You coming to get some snacks? It's totally chill. Go on, you do you. Frankie has stuff in there and this is all his 
different food. But in this box down here, I have spare cameras, uh, old hard drives that obviously I don't want to get rid of because I've got stuff on them, batteries, this camera which has got me through many, many a photo shoot. Finally, we have the piece de la de, de la. We've got the shelves. This box which has stationery and things I like in it. Pencil cases, that regards. Here we have uh, things that I need to access every day <laughs> and I didn't want to hide away in the drawer because I'd forget. This has camera chargers and bare things in it. This has hard drives, SD cards, spare batteries. Then we have this shelf. In here are sh stickers that aren't mine. These are my thank you cards for my shop. This, this is filled with washi tapes. Then we have my mini drawers of stickers. Eventually I'm gonna, you know, expand, have more products and things, but for now this is what works. And I have all of my stickers, which this one's gonna be in my shop soon. It's not yet, but I'll let you know when. This is some mini scales, There's some cards and envelopes, more stickers. These come free. I ordered these accidentally the wrong size, and so I give these free with any order. These are the charity stickers stamps. In the bottom here I have more envelopes and also little paper packing things. This is a clay shelf. In the middle we've got things that I either made or want to paint and customise. Sandpaper, clay, glue and clay tools. Here is some polymer clay and this is filled with embellishments and as such. Then I have spare pens and Things I use less often, but still wanted to be able to see to reach for. And this is a box full of knitting and knitting supplies. This is a cardigan I'm working on. I've recently taken up knitting. Finally, down here, I have some art books, books by creators and books to learn from. Then I have some sketchbooks, sketchbooks, so many notebooks, and uh, a couple of sketchbooks and pieces of paper, watercolour paper, canvas boards, etc. So that's the studio makeover. Wow. So far it's been working really well. I'm really happy with the setup. I'm sure I'll make small changes along the way, if I, but for now, it works. Remember to like the video. If you liked the video, subscribe and comment a pineapple emoji to let me know that you got this far. Do the real MVPs. I, this has been a several long, a several day long, process so i am now going to collapse bye